Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Lean Media, available from leanmedia.org. Today, I'm going to be talking about using Google Sheets to manage your Amazon metadata. And so I'm a publisher. I publish books, and I also publish other types of materials which you can buy on Amazon, and I use different programs to get my products onto Amazon. And one thing that I've learned over the years is that you have to have a system for managing your metadata. And when I say metadata, I mean things like your title, for whatever you're selling, price information, descriptions. So here's the description for this particular book. And then other things such as uh, I might have reviews. I have categories down here. Let me just blow this up a little bit so it's easier to see. So cloud computing, enter enterprise applications, all of this stuff. I have my own bio down here. So, you know, of course, if I wanted to, I, I could just create a Microsoft Word document or a text document to keep all of all of the metadata for each product that I sell. And I have a lot of them, though. Um, so that that's that's a lot of text documents and Word documents to keep that stuff on. I used to do it that way. I used to have a, a text document for each one of my products, and I could go in there to get and copy and paste this information uh, when I, for instance, when I needed to create a new version of, of a product. So, you know, let's say I'm creating a new version of the Kindle edition. So I could just go to that text document and then paste it into Amazon KDP when I'm creating the product or Amazon seller or whatever else I, that I'm using. But the problem with it is then you start managing, you know, dozens or even hundreds of text documents with all of this stuff on it. What I started doing recently is actually using Google Sheets to manage my metadata. And the other thing I should mention is that there's other ways to manage your metadata too. I know that there are some third-party products out there available to Amazon sellers to manage large volumes of metadata. And those, I think, frankly, are for people that have hundreds of products. And I'm not at that stage yet. I have less than 50 products. So I think Google Sheets is a fine intermediate step to manage your information and actually let's take a look let's reduce that okay so here is the google sheets that i use to manage my metadata and um, you can see it's a basic spreadsheet and by the way you can use if you want to you can use uh, excel microsoft excel to do the same thing i use google sheets because it's easy to collaborate so i share this document with other people so they can get in, they can come in here and they can easily grab the metadata that they need to grab. So here's the way that I've set it up. It's a very simple thing. Um, you know, I have a notes column, list price, pages, that's for books. I have ISBNs as well as uh, UPC codes. I have SKUs, ASIN, that's the Amazon specific identification number or something like that. That's the special Amazon number that Amazon assigns to each product. So when I create, when I upload or I start publishing a new book or something like that, the first time it's published, I'll go to the product page like this and I'll look for the ASIN. And for books, it's a little bit different. They use an ISBN, they use the ISBN number, but for other products in this product detail area, it'll say ASIN and it'll give, it'll give a number. Or even if you look up at the top in the URL where I'm circling up here, There'll be a number here that looks like, looks something like this, like BO7C7, blah, 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 blah. These are all ASIN. So some of my products you can see have ASINs and I've copied them over. They all begin with B. I'm not sure if there are other types of Amazon ASINs that begin with something else. But anyways, that's what I do. Then I have the title for the product. I have the subtitle for the product too. Some, some, some of the things I sell, they do not have uh, subtitles. So Dropbox, that was the book we we're just looking at. Here's the title. Dropbox in 30 minutes, here's a subtitle. And you, if you look up in the formula bar, you can see what it is. The Beginner's Guide to Dropbox Backup Syncing and Sharing, okay? I have a description. Now, with the description, I actually only put a short description here. I do have a, a separate text file with a very long description in it, but for the short description, that's something that I can quickly uh, share with other people or, um, you know, if I'm, Maybe I'm creating a product on another type of website, Barnes and Noble, or my, my own site, like I, I have a Shopify site. I can just copy and paste that right in. That's very useful. I have my own product website. So this is the URL right here. You can see up here, dropboxin30minutes.com. 
that's the URL for that particular product that I that I, I created myself. But I also have a separate column with the Amazon URLs. So I can share that with other people. Publication date, that comes up sometimes, for instance, when I'm talking with my lawyer and uh, she needs to know, you know, when's the, when's the first date of publication for a certain item. This is for trademark registration, things like that. Copyright year. Uh, BISAC subject code, this is only for books. It's, the, it's a special uh, code that's, that the book industry uses to classify books. And, and so on and so on, and then author and, and whatnot. So this is a really simple way to manage your, your metadata on Amazon. If you want to create your, actually, I have more than 100 um, products right now. That's interesting. So maybe I have to upgrade to one of these paid special paid tools. Um, if you want to create your own cattle, uh, your own like uh, Google Sheets spreadsheet, first of all, go to, a, you'll need a Google Sheets account. And basically, if you have a Google account, like a Gmail account, you you have a Sheets automatically. Um, like you can go to, you can go to your. This is my Gmail account. Go to the like the grid there. It says Google Apps. Click on Sheets, and then just click on blank sheet. And then what you need to do is you can. I'm going to call this um, test catalog. Okay. And then start at the very top, start putting down the rows you want to have. So maybe you can put here like the ASIN, product name, product subtitle, price, category one, category two, whoops, date created, URL, description. So you can see, you can just quickly go through and create a very simple um, spreadsheet to manage this. You can you can also use Microsoft Excel, but as I said before, the great thing about Google Sheets is you can easily share it with other people. I also think um, Google Sheets is a little bit easier, more intuitive in terms of editing things. So for instance, if I want to edit a cell, let's go back to, actually, let's just use this first one here. So if I want to change this to uh, from ASIN to ISBN, all I need to do is press return it puts the cursor right at the end, and I can just erase and do ISBN. Excel, there's other, there's other keyboard shortcuts you have to use. It's not as intuitive to me. And, and then you can start filling in the information. You can copy it from the text documents you have or the Word document you have. Or you can actually, actually if you want to, you can go to Amazon and start copying information from Amazon to, your, to the spreadsheet. Um, and then the other thing you can do, if you're experienced with using spreadsheets, you can do things like, you can rearrange columns just by dragging them. So this is the uh, Library of Congress control number. So let's say that I wanted to put, um, actually, let's say I wanted to move the SKU from here to the left. All I have to do is drag it. There's other really important things you can do with, um, with, with spreadsheets, such as sorting. So let's say that I want to sort list price from, and right now it's kind of random. What if I wanted to sort it from, from uh, smallest to largest? You do sort sheet from A to Z, and basically it starts at the bottom and then goes up. To get more information about how to more effectively use Amazon and other tools to sell your stuff, go to leanmedia.org. I have a, written a book about making media and the business of media, but I also I have a lot of blog posts about specific services. You know, um, this is Barnes and Noble. Amazon FBM royalty for books. And then I have a video channel with tons of videos. It's on YouTube. Go to uh, leanmedia.org, click on video, and YouTube channel is just click over here. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.